All right, this video is if you made a graph and you feel like you have a straight line or there's a linear relationship in your data. What you want to do now is go into your advanced edit options and then we're going to temporarily turn on the legend. You'll see why in a moment and scroll to the bottom and we're going to add a trend line. A trend line is what Google Sheets calls a line of best fit. So in this case it's a line so we're going to choose linear and then for label we're going to choose use equation. Now that's going to put that there. We're going to click update and then we see this this trend line now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use that trend line to sort of analyze and, and figure out what our relationship is between our independent variable and dependent variable. So since it's a line, the equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. Uh, y is your y variable or your dependent variable. m is your slope or gradient of your line. x is your x value or your independent variable value. And c is the y-intercept or where the line of best fit crosses your vertical y-axis. So that is the general formula for any line. Now if we look at the data, uh, the Google Sheets has created, it has analyzed your data points and it has tried to find the best line equation that represents your data. So it gives that here. So we copy that down, y equals 2.17x plus 0 0.05, and then we convert that into what does that actually mean in our experiment? Well our y is distance, so what I can do is I can choose to represent d as distance, so I say d equals distance, so I go d equals 2.17, and I'm going to change x to t because my x values are really time, so I'll put time in seconds. And then my y-intercept, I start to think about, well, what, what does that really mean when this line goes all the way back? And in this case, it means, you know, that's the starting distance um, where the car was. Um, if, if this is the example of a car and, and its distance over time uh, where a car started uh, and the slope uh, this slope here is going to be the speed or in other words how fast it's traveling and the reason we can think of that is because it's rise over run or in other words your y-axis meters divided by your x-axis second so meters per second that is speed so what this really tells us is this slope, 2.17, the slope tells us that the car is moving 2.17 meters every one second. Or you could say um, 2.1 meters per second. Maybe I'll just write that in there really quickly. Meters per second. Both of those mean the same thing. And then the y-intercept tells us the car was 0 0.05 meters from the starting point when the timer started. So this is just an example of you know what you want to do. You want to get your line equation, then you want to substitute in your values, then you want to figure out what does the slope mean, what does the y-intercept mean. You should be able to try and figure out what those mean. And so as our last step, all we're going to do is go back into our advanced edit, and then we're going to turn off that legend because now we already got the equation. We don't need to um, sort of clutter our graph up. Now all of this can go into a lab report.